Hey everybody, uh, this is a video of my function generator slash frequency counter uh, that I've built over the last year or so. Um, this is a project that resulted from my analog electronics and digital electronics classes. The function generator part was from the analog portion and that represents the bulk of what's in this case. Uh, there's a transformer that takes the AC line, transforms it into DC. Uh, there is an uh, analog circuit mostly composed of op amps and things of that nature to generate a signal based on what's called a relaxation oscillator that uses a resistor and capacitor configuration to generate a stable frequency. And then it does a bunch of processing and eventually it makes it here where you can actually pick off the signal and use it in a project. But I wasn't satisfied with that so I decided to make this frequency display on it as well. But there's no easy way to do that with analog electronics so I had to resort to using digital electronics which was nice because I was taking a digital electronics class. So when I turn it on you can see that the display shows a couple of digits here. Uh, let me bring it down to the lowest setting. This is probably not on high enough. Yeah, it still has a few problems, but it um, it works okay. Uh, not on a square wave, that's what it is. Okay, yeah, that's about right. So seven or eight hertz. <coughs> These three digits represent three significant digits of counting, and this digit represents the order of magnitude of the count. So this is at the lowest frequency possible, so this should be 7 hertz. This also has a speaker installed in the back, so I can actually hear what this sounds like. And that sounds about right. And as I steadily turn up the frequency, the display keeps up. Now this is only updating about once per second. And, well that's annoying, you have to have the gain way up here for it to count, but anyway. Uh, this display is pretty accurate up to really high frequencies around 100,000 hertz. So now it's counting at 275 hertz. And it can go up even higher. So it's 104, 158, 190. Let's turn it up a more. Alright, so now we're up here at 890 hertz. If I turn it up a little bit more, then it actually starts to roll over and display 75 hertz instead of 1075 hertz. So what this does is I can change the order of magnitude of the count. So now it's reading 107 or 108, and actually that's what this button is for. It holds the count in place also an order of magnitude of 1, and that means 108 times 10 to the first power, or 1070 or so. And then I can keep on increasing this, so that's uh, 888 times 10 to the first, and if I actually push this again, it'll show a zero over here. <coughs> so this is 89 times 10 to the second power. Then I can use this button to hold the count, and that's actually 88 Sometimes it's 89 or 88. It oscillates between the two because it's just the nature of the project. And this will display counts accurately up to about yeah, about 273,000 hertz. So this is 274 times 10 to the third, or K. Um, and yeah, that's basically the operation of my function generator slash frequency counter. And then, so now I know the frequency, and then I can output this to some other electronics project and know exactly what frequency I'm pumping into it. Alright, thanks for watching.